Hey there, this is L.A. Smith from Kingdom Knowledge. I know this is not breaking news to a lot of people because the White House and who gets to reside in it has been influenced by money for many, many years now. However, according to this report, money may now become the single biggest influence on the presidential election. Why does it take so much money to run for president? Who is donating all of this money? And more importantly, why? Let's take a look and talk about some video snippets from a CBS News report called Spinners and Winners. Hello and welcome to Spinners and Winners. I'm Jonathan Carl. Today, money and the race for the presidency. Outside Republican groups are poised to spend some $1 billion on this election. Much of that money coming from unnamed donors. It seems that under today's rules, more money can buy you more secrecy. More on the money can buy you more secrecy. Okay, I have to stop it right there and highlight this very important point right at the beginning of, of the story. Not only is the presidency being bought, but it is very difficult to find out who is buying it. You will see why in a minute. It may now be the single biggest force in American politics, an infusion of outside money unlike anything we've ever seen. Some of the players are well known. Karl Rove has a group called American Crossroads. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce plans to spend $100 million. Others more obscure, groups tied to billionaires David and Charles Koch. There are also various so-called super PACs. Here's what they all have in common. Unlike the candidates or the political parties, these groups can accept an unlimited amount of money from anybody. These groups can accept an unlimited amount of money from anybody. Anybody. These groups can accept un, an unlimited amount of money from anybody. Anybody? Really? Okay, not only is the White House for sale, but it can be purchased or, let's just say, highly influenced by anybody, according to this report, by funneling money via the super PACs. I wonder if this includes foreigners as well. So this means someone with a special interest and a lot of money can highly influence who gets elected as the president of the United States. And needless to say, the candidate the PACs support is the one who they believe will support their special interest. Consequently, there's a high probability that if the PACs special interest candidate wins, they will most likely receive much, if not all, of the money they donated back from decisions pertaining to their special interests made by their candidate when he becomes president. This is called a quid pro quo. You can see the money going in, but it's very hard for us to follow what the political favors coming out are. And I think that's what's the most concerning thing about all of this money going into the political process. There are at least two dozen individuals who have already given more than $1 million apiece to these groups, almost all of them Republicans. We tried to track them down to ask why they give so much money. Of course, Jonathan was not able to get in contact with any of the donors, but that's okay. We've just touched briefly on why these people and PAC groups are donating millions and millions of dollars for their guy. As you know, this money is used to market their candidate, get their message out, to discredit the other candidate or the opponent, and to do who knows what else with the money. You know, when you think just how much money is spent in media advertising, it's pretty easy to identify at least one clear winner in all of this, and that is the owner of the media outlets who are getting paid for all of this advertising. This makes me wonder if the owners of some of these media giants are also big donors to the candidates via PACs. As previously mentioned, it will be extremely difficult to find this out. What a pity. But if so, then the money has really gone and come full circle, hasn't it? Okay, now it's getting a bit complicated and too much to think about. To simplify the whole thing, just put your faith and trust in Jesus. 
the Christ, that regardless of who wins the presidency, your faith in God will sustain and keep you. Amen. Thanks for watching. Peace and love. Thanks for watching Kingdom Knowledge News.